The Audi A3 has a reputation for its high build quality and reliability in space, so I'm going to go through its downsides first. If A for money is what you're after, ignore the badge snobs and go and get a cheaper Hyundai i30. If you want looks, then go for the stunningly beautiful Alfa Giulietta. And if you want really nice warranty and reliability, then go and get a Kia Seed. Right, so now we've got the downsides out, let's start off with the interior. We've got really nice squidgy materials on here, and it's really nice high build quality. S-Tronic, we've got Audi's MMI system for the A3. We've got the dial, so you can get it with virtual cockpit in 2016, but this one doesn't have it, because this one's a 2014, as you probably realised. Uh, we've got really good space, we've got hand sanitizer, very useful for at the moment. Uh, you can adjust the um, armrest, like it stays in place, so if you, if you don't want it like this, you can have it in a couple of different positions, which is kind of cool. And that's something I didn't realise until about a week ago. This one has an electronic handbrake, which personally I'm not a fan of, but you can get that screen out of the way. And yeah, overall it's quite quite high build quality and now in the back it's pretty spacious in here so I'm five foot five I've got loads of room for leg room especially for a hash pack of this size I've got plenty of headroom six footers will be perfectly fine back here you've got your little air vents uh, you've got electric windows in the back of here so this one's the S line trim and it's got a few sporty upgrades for the exterior, which is pretty nice. Um, and in the back, you can actually carry three abreast. It's a bit annoying because you have got this. This one's the four-wheel drive, Quattro. Uh, so you've got this transmission tunnel, which is annoying, to be honest. But you've got plenty of shoulder room. I've carried, we've carried three people in the back of this. It's perfectly fine. So, for the back seat, thumbs up. Right, so as for the boot, it's perfectly spacious in the back of it. It goes all the way back to here. This one's the sport pack, so this one's the five door. They discontinued the three door in 2018, so I'd, I'd say go for this five door anyway. So, you've got this really nice partial shell, which is a bit cheap, but because I mean it is an Audi, so it won't break. This one's got a mat, which there's an Audi. You can you've got space saver spare wheel. Bit old, but okay. And I can actually fit into the loop. Just. Um. So yeah, it's a bit bigger than a Ford Focus and slightly less than a Volkswagen Golf. So yeah, pretty good in the back. Now the Audi A3 is a very practical and reliable car. And like I said at the beginning, it's them downsides won't put you off. And uh, I've got to say, them stunning looks are really nice. So I've got to say, go and buy one. It's really.